the organization has just evolved and continued to evolve. It's, there's been a lot of growth. So that when I came here, you, you, you would have had something like 25 clients. Uh, they, they called it, you know, rehabilitees at that point. Um, that name has since been changed. And even the name of the organization has been changed. It used to be known as the Rehab Center. And some people still know, you know, refer to it as a Rehab Center but is known as the National Center for Persons with Disabilities because we are, um, it's, it's national in scope that we are a non-governmental organization. So we are not a government-run agency. We are a charitable organization. We have been fortunate to receive a subvention from the government from its inception in 1964. And so we do get an annual grant from the government um, under the Ministry of the People and Social Development. And we, we get a lot of our funding through corporate sponsorship. We have, we have engaged in partnership with corporate um, Trinidad and Tobago. And in terms of some of our expansion programs and projects. And so with the government subvention, with corporate sponsorship as well as some individuals um, support together we can't miss out fundraising as an NGO you know we, we dependent heavily on doing some fundraising um, certainly it doesn't bring in all the kind of funding that you need but we also um, fundraising is one of the areas amen I develop a, an entrepreneurship you know um, aspect to the operation here so we are not only providing vocational training, but we have a small business operation. And that business, small business operation provides some income that goes back into our operation. But we are also helping ourselves by developing partnership and sponsorship with corporate Trinidad and Tobago, as well as our small business component. That provides the funding. It, it certainly, we still need more, and we continue to look for more funds. This is the ones who really motivated me to look at that aspect, because we were training individuals, and we needed to get them out into the community. But in terms of placement of all our trainees, some will be able to function very effectively out into the community. There are others who need to be in a more supervised environment. So. One of the things is that we needed to create employment opportunities. And so we, that's how our small business came in. So some of our graduates are in fact employed here. And they work on a piece rate basis based, based on their speed and their capacity. And we do take in individuals who, are, who did not come to our training, but who have a disability and who would look. We had to do a level of advocacy. We need to sensitize the public in terms of the inclusion of persons with disability in the workforce. So a lot of what we're doing is working on advocacy at this point. But yes, the question of persons with disability in our workforce, both on the operate, um, not only in the small business, but even in our training. So we have in trainers who have disabilities, who have in fact acquired their skill level to be able to impart. So we are demonstrating. It's a way to, to motivate the others that, oh, I could be a, an instructor one day. She's out there on the job market looking for a job and search, serving him net. She found us and, and wrote, asked me if we could help. Send her. She got a permanent job with the Digital Foundation. You know, she didn't come through to us, but we facilitated, you know, and I think that is part of what we also do. How do I see it growing? I mean, my plans are real big. It's a question of having the resources to do it. But I see eventually, um, looking at the vision of this organization, that we would be the lead agency in the region, providing, you know, um, a, you know, equal opportunities for persons with disability in the area of vocational training and employment, and as well as you know, being that champion in terms of advocacy. We have in fact been providing some 
support to the rest of the Caribbean, to some of the other islands. But to be that lead agency, um, I see us really for the future having a very strong research component. We don't have that one of the things lacking in our, in our region. And data on persons with disabilities just isn't there. So I see, I would love to see a strong research unit where we are definitely doing a lot more. Another aspect is the rehabilitation component. We don't have in Trinidad and Tobago um, a medical rehab component where we are able to provide the related, you know, um, rehabilitation services, physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, um, because you're not only dealing with those persons who are born with disabilities, or even now you have those who are acquiring disabilities. And so that rehabilitation component is one that I, I would really, if I had the money in the morning, put on the unit that we could have these services to be able to offer separation of our vocational training and business because we don't have the space we don't have the money so we're doing it under one roof but I have a separate unit business branding and everything that that says this is persons with disabilities running that business there you know the support of a lot it requires the support of the corporate Trinidad and Tobago the government we can't do it alone as an agency because we don't have the resources. Once we have the resources, we buy in, we are in, our success is based on partnership. And so we will continue to partner with anybody who would like to partner with us to get the service out there for the people who really need it. My goal at the institution, at the, as their remedial instructor, is to just strengthen their functional life skills you know, to be able to be independent and function uh, shopping, buying things for yourselves, you know, so that they won't be dependent on their parents in time to come. Uh, staff works together as a team. Uh, in fact, even though I am a remedial instructor, it's a team of us. My name is Mr. Singh and I have been at NCPD for approximately one year and was a trainee in the office administration area. When I entered NCPD, I did not anticipate the kind of exposure I have experienced this far. Apart from, this, from the in-house training, I have attended several workshops as well as events, all of which enhanced my knowledge and increased confidence in myself for the future endurance. 